Hello all my YouTube followers and fans out there. Back at you with another cooking video on today. Today we are going to make some really good, well, city style food that you would get like if you travel out of town somewhere, uh, say to New York, Los Angeles somewhere, or even Chicago area. Well, we are gonna turn things up a little bit with some delicious jerk style chicken. Yes, some white cheddar garlic macaroni and cheese and some delicious sweet potato yams. That's all on the menu today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our chicken. We're gonna use chicken wings today. You can use any type of chicken you want, chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs, but I decided to use wings and I got the chicken over here soaking in some water. So I wanna get the chicken all nice and clean before I start uh, mixing it in the marinade, which I'm gonna let sit for about an hour to two hours. All right, let's get started on that marinade. So for the marinade, we are going to need about a tablespoon of onion powder and also garlic powder. We need about two uh, teaspoons of cayenne pepper and also two teaspoons of salt. We need two teaspoons of our ground black pepper, two teaspoons of dried thyme and sugar, teaspoon of ground allspice, which I have right here. Uh, while it's marinating, I'm going to go ahead and use some whole allspice. So that should give it a little flavor as it's marinating. All right, we need a teaspoon of dried parsley, teaspoon of paprika, hot pepper flakes, about a half a teaspoon of that. I already put my dried parsley in here, which is about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of paprika. So now we need the hot pepper flakes, ground cinnamon, and ground cumin, all a half a teaspoon, and a half a teaspoon of clove, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. Hmm. All right, that's all our seasonings. Okay, so I got my clove, my ground, my uh, whole, uh, not clove, whole allspice. And I'm only gonna take a little few of these and put them inside our uh, marinade when I let these marinate. All right, let's go ahead. And we also got some liquid smoke here and some, uh, extra virgin garlic olive oil. Yes, my famous garlic olive oil. All right, so we got our seasonings in here and now we're gonna mix this all together. Just gonna create our marinade. So now we got our good seasoning. <coughs> So now I'm gonna put some olive oil and some liquid smoke in here. Stir this up. And now we have our jerk chicken paste. Because we're gonna put this on an air fryer and we're also, first we're gonna grill it first and then put it in the air fryer. We're gonna do both today. All right, so now we got our chicken nice and clean. So I'm just gonna put some EVOO on there, extra virgin garlic olive oil. 
<laughs> uh, all right. And we're gonna put our jerk seasoning right on our chicken. And now, this is the fun part. We're gonna get our hands dirty. What's wrong with getting your hands dirty? Nothing wrong with doing this. Get in this kitchen and get your hands dirty. Helps your seasoning get on there all down in the chicken. Oh man, look at this. So we're gonna let this marinate for about uh, uh, two hours. And I decided not to put the uh, whole cloves on there because I don't wanna be digging in there trying to get them out. <laughs> so we'll just, well, they're all spice, so we'll just go without it this time. But you can also, you, you can use ground allspice if you don't use it, that's fine. I just couldn't don't have any in my pantry. So we're gonna let this marinate for two hours. And then, we'll guess what time it is? Grilling time. Then we'll put it in the air fryer. All right, now it's time to make that white cheddar garlic macaroni and cheese. I know I always make macaroni on this video, but this one here is one special Chef special. So for that macaroni, we're gonna need some butter, some uh, flour, about three teaspoons of flour, and some garlic, because we're gonna make our sauce garlic. So first, we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and we're gonna put a little butter in there. two teaspoons of butter. two cloves of garlic into my pan here. together. And we also, oops, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the floor there. 
We also got two cups of milk. Whole milk, I recommend that you use whole milk because when you make your sauce, which is called a bechamel sauce, you don't want it to be too runny if you use skim milk. So I highly recommend using whole milk for a bechamel sauce because it adds richness to it and it'll help boost up the flavors and it won't taste like it's nasty fat free stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, once our garlic turns a light brown, we're going to take three teaspoons of flour. And now, our bechamel sauce will start to form once I add the milk. Because the flour is a thickening agent, which is called a root. Alright, so a roux is basically oil or butter with flour mixed in just like this. And when it turns into this here pasty stuff, this is the thickening agent for our, our, our cheese sauce. So now that our roux is ready, now, we're going to turn this roux into a bechamel sauce. By adding two cups of milk. All right, we're going to add a little salt and pepper. A little salt. salt and pepper in there and we're just going to whisk this until it thickens and then once this bechamel sauce thickens we'll add our cheese in there which we're going to add about four cups of cheese and we're going to add about a half a cup of parmesan cheese to this here and then we'll have our white uh, cheddar garlic sauce. And then I got the water for my macaroni on the stove. So, all right, I'll admit, <laughs> I saw a post on Instagram where they had some good macaroni, some jerk steak tips and all that. And I said, man, that'll be a good Sunday dinner for my cooking video. So I said, why not? So today, we're switching the macaroni up and making some white garlic cheddar style macaroni. Because we normally use uh, uh, add a little bit more milk to this here. There we, go. we normally use cheddar cheese, but today we're going to go ahead and switch things up and use some uh, mozzarella, and some Parmesan cheese. sauce is ready. Now we're going to add some cheese sauce to it. And it's not too thick, which I really, really like when it's not too, too thick. Because the cheese itself is going to thicken it itself. So now we're going to put this whole bag of cheese into our sauce. And we're going to use our spoonula stir it. And this cheese will thicken our bechamel. Stir it in there ever so 
so gentle. Mm, yeah. This is pot of gold sauce right here. Pot of gold sauce. Oh, yes. Look at this. Here, I'll just eyeball it. A Parmesan cheese in there. Add a little extra cheese in there. Turn this on a low heat. Stir it ever so gently here. Ever so gently. <laughs> yes, the cheese sauce is the boss sauce. Mm. Mm. The boss sauce has been created. Oh, yes. Let's see. Let's add. Okay. A little seasoning in there. We'll add a little paprika. So our cheese sauce is ready. We'll need to turn this off and start our macaroni. And once again, we're going to use cavatappi noodles or uh, selenity noodles. I'm going to use those. I also used the, those types of macaroni in our uh, pulled pork macaroni recipe that we did on our game day video. All right, so we're going to let this cook. And then we're going to check on that macaroni and see how that macaroni is doing. Not macaroni, that uh, jerk chicken. And check that out and Get ready to take that out, and yes, grilling time.
little salt to the water. That's going to help flavor the pasta as it cooks. All right, the macaroni is done. Let's go ahead and drain it. And now we'll go ahead and get the kitchen ready to start grilling our uh, strip chicken. All right, so I have some extra virgin olive oil here. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit of that over our macaroni. Not too much of it. Adds more garlic flavor to it. All right. Here's that delicious cheese sauce that we made earlier. I'm just gonna pour that over our macaroni. Oh, yes. this on in there. Let me grab my uh, other spatula. White cheddar macaroni and cheese. All right, let's go ahead and get that chicken out and stage the kitchen for our chicken and get those yams cooking. Put a lid over this and let this set for a while. seconds, take it away, bing, it is ready. I got my air fryer. We're going to put our chicken in. We're going to grill it first. Then uh, we put our chicken in. Have fun grilling today. I love grilling. Ready? So we'll go ahead and start putting our chicken on here. I should put a little oil on here so it won't stick too often. And remember, if it does stick, that just means that it's not that it's not uh, ready to turn yet. indoor grill. Go ahead and grill our 
start chicken first. <coughs> then when you're grilling indoors, make sure the heat is not too hot. Otherwise, it can smoke up really fast in the house. So I have mine on medium low heat. That's just enough there for indoor grilling. Now, if we were outside, then we'll turn it all the way up, but we're inside, so we're gonna indoor grill. Make sure the house doesn't get smoked up. <laughs> well, <coughs> a little smoked up ain't bad. Oh, then the smell goes outside. You'd be wondering, what are they cooking in here? All right, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure the heat is medium to low heat because you don't want to smoke, smoke up the whole entire house. <laughs> and when you flip this over, you want those nice grill marks. Those beautiful grill marks on both sides of the chicken. Now this one here has already got some on there. But I want this a little bit more of those grill marks. <clears throat> Already feels like summer and we're still halfway in the middle of winter. <laughs> yeah, so we got this macaroni here. I tasted it earlier. It's really delicious. So now, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get those jams on. I got the ones in a can, so all I'm going to do is just take them out of the can, put them in here, and let them warm up, and then our uh, big city style dinner will be ready. We're going to flip that over, just look how beautiful those grill marks look. Wow! Oh man! Perfect. <coughs> Not too badly smoked up in here. <laughs> I'll just open the back door. Nah, I won't. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna finish grilling this chicken. <laughs> I know the smoke alarm is gonna go up after a while. So now, once this side here gets all those nice grill marks, we'll take it off and go ahead and start to heat in the air fryer. And then we'll let them bake the rest of the way. And then, I can't wait to try this jerk chicken. Instagram and saw this a mic that would have to be something similar for my videos. That'd be nice. Told you the smoke alarm going off. Oh yes, we are definitely smoking in the kitchen. Alright, let's go ahead and get these six moons in the air fryer. Oh yes, it's so 
fucking cooking in here. fried chicken is done. So we got some good jerk chicken here. Let's go ahead and take this out of the air fryer. All right. And then a little bit of it. All right, first we, oh man, that looks good. We grilled it. And then we put it in our air fryer. Man, that smells and looks delicious.
take this to a potluck. Ah, let everyone in that potluck I love this good, dang good chicken. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and assemble everything together. And dinner is served. And these recipes could be for any time, any occasion. Yes, they can. Even for game night and potluck or who knows. <laughs> but yes, this is definitely a good recipe. Is Dinner is served. I encourage you to try this at home. And get back with me and let me know how it tastes. And also hit that subscribe button for more cooking content and inspirational videos.